Hi, I'm Sarah Collins and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to your rescue with a restorative 60 minute yin yoga class to use whenever you're feeling stressed. If you're a beginner, an advanced yogi, or if you're working with injury in the body, this class is perfect for you. No matter how stressed or busy in the mind you feel right now, I promise you by the end, you will be feeling more calm, settled and relaxed. You will need a few props. You can just use whatever you have lying around. Our usual yin yoga props are a bolster, blocks, belt, cushions, and blanket. You don't need those to take part though. Just grab as many cushions as you can find, a couple of blankets, and you're ready to begin relaxing. We'll be holding restorative postures for between three and five minutes, allowing the body to soften in gradually. This will nurture and reach your body in an effective way. Let's begin. Okay, so find a comfortable position, laying on your mat. Give your body whatever it needs right now to be as comfortable as possible. A bolster under the legs will help the lower back to feel more comfortable, more supported. Maybe a cushion under the back of the head, a blanket over the body, or even an eye pillow over the eyes. And when you feel ready to allow your eyes to close, you'll be softening the muscles around the eyes and across the forehead. Breathing in and out through the nose as long as that's comfortable for you. And the arms can come down to relax on the floor, slightly away from the body. Legs wide, let the feet relax and flop to the side. Maybe even draw the shoulders down away from the ears a little. Once you've found that comfortable position, take as much time as you need to find that. You will now allow for some time for your body to settle and calm but also for us to arrive more fully in the moment. So once you have settled and you feel comfortable, your eyes are closed. We're gonna take three deep breaths to begin our practice. So I want you to take a nice smooth deep breath in through the nose now, taking the breath all the way up to the very top. Maybe pausing at the top for a moment and then out through the nose all the way to the very end. Take two or three more of those deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, but with a real emphasis now on slowing that breath down so don't be in any kind of a rush. And you've taken a few deeper breaths, just allowing yourself to relax into just normal breathing. The lungs, the chest to relax, there's no effort involved in breathing. Notice that this is time for you. There's nothing in the outside world that you can change or affect from your mat right now. So just allow yourself this time off know that it is totally safe for you to let go for this hour. So what I want you to do now is allow yourself to start to become more aware of the feeling of your body. So this is really simple, we're not involving the mind, so we're not labeling the body, we're not analyzing or judging the body, we're not even using our imagination to picture the body. You really don't add anything with the mind, just simply allow yourself to sense, to feel the feeling of your own body. And this is something that I'm going to bring you back to. Allowing yourself to feel 
to just sense and feel the body. When we become stressed, it's usually because the mind has been busy with lots of fearful or stressful thoughts. When we become stressed, the mind becomes more busy. And then when the mind becomes more busy, we become more stressed. And sometimes we get stuck in that loop. And something that I want you to have a little play around with today is how effective feeling is as a kind of antidote to thinking. When the thinking feels busy or relentless, how if you just switch into allowing yourself rather than thinking to just feel. Feel the presence of the body. Feel the sensations in the body. So feeling rather than thinking. I'm going to come back to that often. Just feeling into different areas of the body over time, becoming more and more aware of that feeling of your own body. Yoga is not about striving. We don't try too hard at anything that we do in this practice. So don't try really hard to focus on the body. Simply allow your awareness to begin to rest with that feeling of the body, with the different areas of the body. Maybe as this deepens, you can allow yourself to begin to feel into the muscles and the tissues of your body. You may feel that some areas already feel very comfortable and relaxed. You may notice that some areas feel uncomfortable in some way, maybe a little tense, like they're holding on or gripping. There's no need for you to judge what you observe right now. No need to build any stories about what you're observing. We're not here to fix the body or judge the body. Just allow yourself to feel into what's there. Just start to build a picture, an awareness of how your body is feeling, what's going on in your body right now. being with the body unconditionally. We're not here to judge. We're not here to ask anything of the body. Just be with it for now unconditionally. As you start to feel into these muscles, and you may start to pick up on those areas that we all have, those ways in which we hold on in our own bodies. And begin to allow or invite these areas, these muscles to begin to relax and let go. And a really great way to do this is to allow the body, to allow the muscles to let go just a little bit each time that you breathe out. Your body is much more willing to let go and much more able to let go as you breathe out. Each time that you breathe out now, just allowing that body to let go just a little bit, just a tiny amount. And then a little bit more, and a little bit more each time you breathe out. You're not trying to relax here. Don't hurry your body. Don't force your body or push your body to let go. Just give your body some time and space to begin to let go in its own time, in its own way. Just gently invite the muscles to soften if they're ready each time you breathe out. going 
to begin to move a little in a moment. The body has settled more. We're more aware of the body. So to start to bring your body around, maybe just allow your breath to deepen slightly. Stay relaxed and settled, but just make little movements to wake slowly, maybe move fingers and toes. Some people like to drop their head down over to one side, stretch one side of the neck and then take the head over to the other side and stretch the other side of the neck. What feels really nice is to bring the feet together and the hands together and as you take your arms up and over the top of the body, you just take a nice stretch out. Stretching from fingers to toes and just feeling how that lovely stretch feels through the whole of the body. releasing that stretch and taking your time on it to roll over to lay onto your side maybe just supporting the head with the arm just pause here for a moment just notice again that feeling of your own body in this new position maybe the feeling of your breath coming and going needing to add anything more than that. It's enough to just notice the here and now, notice the body, feeling of the breath. And pushing into your palm, you can come up slowly into a seated position. And we're ready now to move into our first posture. Our first posture is caterpillar pose, which is a lovely posture that allows us to stretch up through the back of the body. So in a seated position with your legs straight out in front of you, in a moment we're going to fold forwards. But a couple of things first that you may want to do. So first of all, you can sit up onto a cushion. If it feels like the hips are tilted back and you're having to reach forward to stay in the pose, sit up onto one, maybe two cushions, or even if you have a thin yoga block, you can sit up onto that. You want the hips to be tilted forwards so that you can relax in and just allow gravity to do the work. For some of us, the stretch up through the back of the body becomes too intense. And so if we bend the knees, we take the edge off. So you may want a a block, if you only have cushions, you can get cushions under there. Or you may even want to use a bolster if you have a bolster available. The bigger the bend you have in the legs, the more gentle the posture becomes. So you can adjust this to suit your own body. So we're going to make our way down into the posture now. So I want you to start with a nice long spine. So imagine someone has a piece of string on the top of your head and they've picked you up nice and tall. Tilting the body forwards with this long spine and then we're going to relax. So relaxing through the spine and now allowing the spine to round forwards and the head to drop forwards. You don't need to rush in so easy and slowly, maybe come to 50% of your maximum Somewhere where you're just feeling some stretch through the back of the body. Allow your arms to find a comfortable position. This is where, as you settle in, you may want to try out those different options that I've given you to bend the knees or sit up onto a cushion. Allow yourself to just very gradually begin to relax into the posture. Maybe each time that you breathe out, you feel able to allow that body to relax a little, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. And if you find as you're relaxing forward that this posture feels uncomfortable in the neck, the shoulders, the upper back, which often happens when we let go of the weight of the head, give yourself something to rest your forehead into. That may be cushions again. If you have a a bolster, available and that's really helpful blocks and sometimes you'll need to stack different props and blocks on top of each other to get the height that works for your body 
So the idea here is that you've come far forward enough that you're feeling a lovely stretch through the back of the body. But it's not so far that it's becoming aggressive, sharp, painful, or hard to sit with. You should always feel safe in a yin posture and you should always feel able to be there. So as you settle in, take as much time as you need to adjust the posture to suit your body. If you need at any point, allow yourself to back away a little or come out of the posture completely and take a rest. It's really important that you totally honour the way that your body is feeling in these postures. These yin postures are absolutely designed to be moulded to your body. So as we move along, if you have an instinct to adjust the posture in some way, or at any point if you want to try out one of the adjustments that I've given, then allow yourself to do that. In each of these postures we'll be holding for between three and five minutes, spending our time there. Just softening in, breathing, letting go, and allowing the body to slowly surrender to the posture. So if you found that your mind has really wandered, as before, allow yourself to feel again the presence of the body to sense and feel that body. Feeling rather than thinking. Feeling into the muscles eventually. And starting again to build that picture, to pick up on the areas within your body that may well feel tight or tense. And giving them the time and space they need to be able to relax and let go. Breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. time already for us to begin to ease up out of the posture so really taking your time coming back up to a seated upright position slowly popping any props that you've been using to the side and just allowing your body a little bit of movement here maybe Allowing the feet, the toes to point and flex, or maybe bobbing the legs up and down. Some people prefer bigger movement, so resting back onto the hands and dropping the knees from side to side into some windshield wiper type movement. Maybe pausing as the knees drop one way, looking over the other shoulder and giving yourself a little gentle twist. And then doing the same on each side. Maybe as you bring the knees back to center, it feel nice to just sit up straight for a moment. Maybe give a little bit of a stretch to the neck, bringing the ear down to each shoulder. Maybe circling the shoulders back and forth a few times. And we're ready now to move straight into our next posture, butterfly pose. Okay, so this time for butterfly pose, we are seated, the legs straight out in front. And then bringing the feet in closer towards the body so we draw the heels in towards the sitting bones and leave just over a foot gap between sitting bones and heels. Allow your knees to fall out to the sides and allow your thighs and your hips to relax so we're not holding the knees up in the air or allowing them to relax. 
Again, if you find that your hips are tilted back, you may want to sit up onto the edge of a cushion, two cushions or a yoga block to allow those hips to tilt forwards. This time, we need to look after the knees and the hips. So if you find at any point throughout this posture that your knees or hips are getting too much sensation, if this is feeling too intense for them, allow yourself to pop cushions or blocks, whatever fits and whatever you have available, underneath the thighs so that the legs are resting into some support. Again, as we come into this, we'll start with a long spine. So picking that spine up nice and tall, shifting your body weight forwards and then allowing your body to slowly relax down into the posture. So again, the spine rounds, the head drops forward, the muscles in the neck begin to relax. you may find as you relax forward again that you need to give some support to the muscles in the neck so one way of doing that without any props is to just rest your elbows down into your lower legs and rest your head into your hands if you have a bolster available you can use the bolster or cushions your breath will help you to let go gradually so little by little Breath by breath, allowing your body to slowly soften, relax and let go into the posture. There is nothing to hold on for now. We allow those muscles to let go. Don't worry if you notice that your mind is busy. It is your mind's nature to be active. Don't worry, don't try to fight against it. Instead, notice more often, or just as much as you can, notice more often when your mind has wandered off away from the body in the moment that you're in. And each time that you breathe out, you can allow whatever thoughts came into your mind or whatever, whatever subject came into your mind to fall off and fall away from you. So there's a mental relaxation that begins to happen too. Relaxing the need to be thinking. So don't try too hard at any of this. Don't try hard to relax. Don't try to push thoughts away. Remember, yin is not about effort. It's about letting go. So instead, just allow your body and mind to gradually let go. The key is not to strive, but to simply allow things to unfold. And as we breathe, to simply allow things to fall away, whether that be tension in the body, activity in the mind, just be here and breathe and allow things to fall away gradually. staying with this breathing out letting go breathing out letting go there isn't anything that you need to be on top of right now nowhere that you need to get to nothing that you need to strive for just allow yourself to simply be here and breathe nothing more than that needs to happen. You might notice your mind being back up probably quite often so don't worry if that's happening just as often as you can allowing whatever train of thought started up in your mind to fall away from you as you breathe out and 
Okay, so we are again already, the time has passed and we're ready to come up and out of the posture. So slowly taking your time, easing your way back up to an upright seated position. And then drawing the knees back together first before you allow the legs to relax down onto the floor. Props to the side. And again, just giving your body a little bit of movement. Maybe head, neck, shoulders. Maybe the legs, the hips need a little bit of movement. You could drop the knees from side to side and make some windshield wiper like movements as we did before. Sometimes you just feel like you need to just sit there and be still. So there's no right or wrong here. In between the postures, we're just giving the body whatever it feels like it needs. Okay, so ready for a nice back bend. So you're going to bring yourself over onto your stomach now. And taking the arms in front of you, resting into the forearms. Make sure that your elbows are directly underneath the shoulders. So as you relax into this, the arms will work a little, but the lower back muscles, the stomach muscles, the legs relax. All the muscles through the spine relax. You may find that this feels too intense in the lower back. So to take the edge off, to allow this to be more gentle, I want you to just take your arms further out in front of you. That could be subtle, just a small movement or a bigger movement needed. But the further out the arms come, the more gentle this arch or this compression in the lower back will feel. So you can find your own perfect edge there. Some of us will be laying flat and that's where we feel that edge. So really just honor your body and give it what it's telling you it needs. For those of you with cushions, bolsters available to you, you can pop cushions or a bolster underneath the chest. And this is really lovely for when the shoulders or the arms or the neck has been feeling tense or if you're feeling a bit run down and tired and you need a much more restful, more supported version of the posture. For some of you, you may want a blanket under the body, under the hips, under the knees, maybe folded for cushioning. Some of us need to rest our head also down into some support. So you can just have your head in a neutral position or you can have a block in front of you to rest your head into. If you feel any sharp pain, make the pose more gentle or come out completely and rest. So take your time to find that perfect version of the posture for you. If the mind is wandering or busy, just notice that now. Don't need to control that or stop that, just notice that it's there that chatter in the mind. And each time you breathe out, remember there is that opportunity to just relax mentally, relax internally and allow whatever started up in that mind to just fall off and fall away. You put too much effort in, just relax and allow it to fall away, allow yourself to let go. It's worth remembering that there is nothing that you need to be on top of right now. Nothing that you need to take care of or solve. Nothing that needs to be analysed, remembered or understood. And so just for now, allow that mind's activity to fall away. There is nothing that you need to mentally do right now. 
Allow yourself some time to just be here with your body and breathe. Do breathe out and let go. When the mind settles, you'll feel space, you'll feel room to be able to bring your awareness back to your body. Again, just sensing, feeling that body to begin with. Feeling into the muscles and the tissues of the body, inviting those muscles where they can to relax and let go with each out breath. So we have one more minute left in the posture. So for some of you, you may be feeling like your back needs a little something more, needs to come in a bit deeper into the posture. And so you can take seal pose now if you would like to. So pressing into the palms, lifting the upper body up higher. That feels too much, there is an in-between. So staying in that sphinx posture, resting into the forearms, but just bringing the forearms up onto a cushion or blocks. So we're just bringing the body up a little. You can have your arms out in front of you or to the side and just listen to what your lower back is telling you. If the sensations become too intense or aggressive, allow yourself to ease back and come back to Sphinx. But each time that you breathe out, there is an opportunity there for you to let go, either physically or mentally. And even when the body is working a little more, like the arms are working now, you can still allow the jaw to be soft the tongue to relax in the mouth, the forehead to soften, the muscles around the eyes to relax. You're softening around the activity. To allow yourself now to lower, place any props you've been using to the side and lay flat for just a moment. You can turn your head to the side or rest your head into forearms and just give the weight of your body over to the floor. Allow your body to just be heavy for a moment. Allow the floor to fully take your weight. For this moment, just know that there is nowhere that you need to go, nowhere else that you need to be, nobody else that needs your attention. So allow yourself to just be here for a moment and breathe, surrendering the weight of the body to the floor. Yin is about surrender. Pressing your hands into the floor. Work your way back to a nice counteractive child's pose. So kneeling. And allowing the body to fold forwards. Some of you may want a blanket under the knees, the ankles for cushioning. As you come down, if your head doesn't quite reach the floor, you can have a block under the head or fists, resting the forehead into a fist or two fists. An alternative is if this feels too harsh 
on the knees, the ankles, or even the hips. Allow yourself instead to lay on to the back and hug the knees in towards the chest. So with each breath out, allowing any mind chatter to fall away. Mind isn't needed in this moment. As the mind's activity falls away from you as you breathe, feel into your body again. Again, giving the weight of your body over to the floor if you're in child's pose. Feeling the feeling of weight, heaviness, gravity. Noticing the feeling of your breath coming and going. Feel that wave-like rhythm. Just notice that wave-like rhythm of your breath. No need to add anything with the mind or do anything with what you're observing. Just it's enough to simply feel the feeling of the breath coming and going. Notice as your body continues to find little ways to let go as you breathe. Easing back up into an upright position, nice and slowly. Sit down to the side, bring the legs around in front of you and allow yourself to lie down onto your back, ready for the next posture. A recline twist now. So laying onto the back with the arms out to the side. Draw your knees in, allow the feet to leave the floor, and begin to take the knees down to the right-hand side. Take your time. If it feels too much to bring the knees all the way down to the floor, place a block, two blocks, one or two cushions, or even a bolster, whatever you have available and fits just right for you, place something under the knees. So the knees are resting into some support. That should allow the twist to feel more comfortable. But if it's comfortable for you, take your knees all the way down to the floor, allowing the legs to rest into the floor, one on top of the other. Some of you may feel the need to place a cushion or block in between the knees if it's just that top hip and top thigh that feels uncomfortable. Well, look over the opposite shoulder, so looking over the left shoulder. However, for some of you, the neck may not be too happy with that, so you may need to bring your head back to centre. And some of you may even feel more like having a cushion under the back of the head or feel more comfortable for the head or the neck. So again, it's about tweaking and making this posture feel just right for you. The more supported and safe and comfortable your body feels, the more your body will calm and the more your body will let go. If one shoulder lifts slightly and feels uncomfortable, you may want a folded blanket under that shoulder. And if you feel that you want a blanket over the body, if you're feeling cooler, that's normal in the end for the body temperature to lower. So place a, a blanket over the body. Once you've settled in, again, using your breath as a tool, allow thinking to fall away. Nothing needs to be done right now with the mind. Without trying to push thoughts away, just breathe and allow the mind to fall away. Don't try to be in control of the mind, the mind will return. Notice and breathe out, and let the mind fall away again. So there is this surrender to the fact that the mind will continue to return. We can't stop that. We're not trying to stop that. 
We're allowing the mind to come, and then we're allowing the mind to go. The more often we interrupt the mind and allow the mind to fall away, just know that each time you are doing that, you are taking energy away from the mind, and the mind will not stop, but it will calm, it will settle as you do this more and more. This is how you stop feeding the mind, stop giving the mind more energy. The mind does settle, feeling again into the muscles of the body, noticing the feeling of this new position that you're in. Noticing if anywhere within your body is tensing or resisting, and just provide your body with the time and space that it needs to be able to soften and surrender gradually. We are going to draw the knees in towards the center again and hugging the knees in towards the chest, rock the knees from side to side and just massage that lower back nicely into the floor. You feel ready, taking the arms back down to the floor, drawing the knees in towards the chest allowing the knees to come down to the left hand side this time. And this other side of the body may feel different so you may need slightly different versions. On the other side you may need to use props or blocks that maybe you didn't use before. So mindful of that settling in blocks under the knees or in between the knees head looking over the opposite shoulder, over the right shoulder, but turning the head back to center if the neck is not happy. And having a cushion under the back of the head, having a blanket over the body if it's needed. arriving once more with the feeling of your own body. Don't try too hard that anything that you are doing physically, mentally, allow any expectations, any judgments to fall away from you. Things don't need to be a certain way, things do not need to unfold in a certain way. So as you feel into the body, just noticing the new position that you're in. Feeling as the body finds its Little ways to let go as you breathe, noticing the softening that's occurring, knowing that there is nowhere else to go, nowhere else that you need to be right now, nothing else that needs your attention or effort, it's enough for you to just be here and breathe. There is nothing in this moment that you need to strive for. Nothing that you need to control or change. It is enough to just simply be here and breathe. Allowing yourself to just explore. To explore what it feels like to let go mentally, physically, 
about the need for things to turn out or be experienced in a certain way. Your willingness to just allow this exploration to unfold in whatever way it's going to unfold. few breaths. Drawing the knees now back into center and once more hugging the knees in towards the chest, rocking the knees from side to side and massaging the lower back into the floor. So for our final posture, we're coming into a reclined butterfly. So allowing yourself to lay down onto the floor if you aren't already, draw your heels in towards the sitting bones as close as they'll come this time. Allow your knees to fall out to the side and your soles of your feet to rest together. If you would like to add a back bend to this, you can lay back over stacked cushions or a bolster if you have a bolster available. So you stay seated on the floor, the bolster comes into the small of the bag or the cushions, laying back over those and finding a comfortable position. Some of you may need blocks or cushions under the thighs to give support to the hips or knees if things become too intense there. Some of you may need If you're laying flat on the floor or if you're laying over a bolster, you may want to tuck a cushion in under the back of the head to support the neck. Laying over a bolster feels too strong. Then possibly sit up onto a thin yoga block or a cushion, raising, elevating the level of the hip so that the effect of the bolster is more gentle Or if it's feeling way too strong, just take all of that away and allow the body to just lay flat on the floor. Arms relaxed out to the side of the body, or even placing the palms onto the stomach. You can allow them to, for your attention to just settle with the palms of the hands as you feel the feeling of your breath rising and falling. Some people really like to take the arms up above the body, take the arms higher up as they come out to the side, or even to tuck the interlocked fingers around the back of the neck, allowing the elbows to fall to the side. So any of these positions allows us to stretch into the front of the body. The muscles can become quite tight when we're feeling stressed. So really, you pick the version that just feels really good for you, elevating the arms in some way to stretch the upper body or resting the hands into the belly and feeling into the breath. And you continue allow, to allow your body to find little ways to let go. Notice the feeling of stillness in your body. Feeling of lack of movement. And just sit for a while. The feeling of stillness. What it feels like to be still. And against that stillness in the body, There is this gentle rise and fall of breath. Still on a wave-like rhythm coming and going. And 
as you scan through the rest of the body now. You may start to notice the differences in your body from when you first laid down until now. Some days they're subtle, some days they're much stronger, and that doesn't matter. You might notice that the muscles are feeling just a bit more soft than they did when you first laid down. Maybe the body feels a little bit more at rest. The breath may have slowed or deepened. Possibly the mind has settled or slowed. Maybe you feel more present or in the moment or just a little bit more calm. Whatever it is for you, notice how good your body is at relaxing and calming when it's given the right circumstances, when it's given the time and space that it needs. In this slower breath, feeling of calm, all indications that we have stepped from fight or flight or stress mode, which is our sympathetic nervous system. And we have now stepped down into our rest mode, our rest and restore mode. That means we're now working from our parasympathetic nervous system. And that happened automatically without us trying to force that to happen. Just unfolded nicely. And just know that the effects of that will last long after this practice. Last few breaths here. And bring the legs slowly back together. Just gently moving the knees from side to side. Maybe you want to hug the knees in or press into the feet and lift the hips up high. Whatever feels good for your body. And when you feel ready, you can use the stomach muscles and the hands either side of the body to carefully come up. Some people prefer to roll to the side and come up, so whatever feels safer and more comfortable for you. And then bending the knees, just rest over, forwards, over the legs. Release the lower back if you were laying back over cushions or a bolster. You especially need that counteractive movement. You're allowing yourself to make any last movement, stretches, anything at all allowing yourself to get comfortable now laying onto the back and we will take a few minutes at the end here for a closing shavasana or a closing relaxation so we never ever skip shavasana this is an important time at the end of your practice to allow your body to absorb and digest everything that we have just done so I'm going to be taking you through a body scan. Before we do that, I want you to take the time that you need to get comfortable. So again, you may want a bolster or cushions or blocks under the legs so that you have a bend into the knees to give support to the lower back. You may want a cushion under the back of the head, a blanket over the body. Maybe you have an eye pillow available, an eye pillow over the eyes. When you feel comfortable, allow your eyes to close and your breath starts to come in and out through the nose. Again, only if that's comfortable for you to breathe through the nose. And this body scan will settle more deeply into relaxation, into that rest and restore mode. So taking your awareness down to the toes, allow yourself to begin to scan through the feet, just feeling along the bottom of the feet and the tops of the feet. 
feeling for any last remaining tension or holding on, even if it's really, really subtle. And allowing the muscles as you scan through them to deeply, deeply let go now. Scanning up around the heels and up into the ankles, softening the muscles in and around the ankles. Allow the calves and the shins to relax. And allow the knees to relax. Moving up to the thighs, allow the fronts and the backs of the thighs to deeply let go now. Allowing all of those muscles in and around the hips to soften, to let go. And as you travel up into the stomach, allow your stomach muscles to relax and let go. As you go in deeper, as the stomach muscles relax, you may even feel able to relax and release the organs in the stomach. Relaxing deep in the body. And taking your awareness up to the chest now. Now the chest to relax. We're going to take a nice, smooth, deep breath in now, in through the nose, all the way to the top. Pause at the top for a moment and out through the mouth. And relax. Breathe normally. Relax that chest. Relax those lungs. One more of those deep breath in. Pause at the top. Out through the mouth. Breathing more. Allow the chest to relax, the lungs to relax. So breathing is effortless. You can even allow the heart to relax in the chest. Moving up into the shoulders, allow the shoulders to soften and sink back into the support of the floor beneath you. And allow this wave of relaxation to travel down through the arms as you feel the upper arms softening and letting go. The elbows soften, the lower arms soften. And then the wrists become soft and the palms become soft. Each and every finger softens. And now it feels like we have given the weight of the arms, the body and the legs over to the floor. And drawing your attention up to the neck, allow the muscles around the front and the back of your neck to relax. Allow the muscles in your throat to soften. And soften the jaw. Relax the tongue in the mouth. Soften the lips. Relax the muscles and cheeks. Soften the muscles around the eyes. And finally, 
softening across the forehead into the temples, through the back of the head. Just allow yourself now this time to just be here and breathe. Nothing more needs to happen. just a little bit more into the support of the floor. to very slowly bring the body back around. So maybe inviting your breath in a little deeper to begin to wake the body. Maybe taking a big deep breath if that feels good and then just beginning to move the fingers and toes, waking your body in your own way. Maybe taking the feet together hands together, taking the arms up above you and having a nice stretch out. Carefully rolling over onto your right side. Keep your eyes closed for now. Allow yourself to push up into the seated position. Taking one more deep breath in and out. Bring the palms together in front of the chest. Drop the head to the fingertips. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.